leaving so soon, are we, Herr Doctor? Your best wasn't good enough. The least you could do is lose with some dignity and grace. Walter, what are you saying? For all your talk of a thousand-year right, we bollocks this up pretty good, didn't we? You broken piece of shit! Really, Doctor, you're quite the piece of shit yourself. All your toys have fallen short, myself included. How could we not? Like the Doctor in spite of himself, your science wasn't good enough. Don't you understand? Your life's a farce. A farce? You dare denigrate my work by comparing it to some bit of fluff by Moliere? Moliere? You should be so lucky. We are the evening's entertainment. And I just wanted to do something with my time on the stage worthy of applause. Life is so damned cruel. Alucard coped with it for centuries. I truly don't envy him that. You're nothing more than a broken turncoat. How dare you address me like this? You would lay in a heap and mock us? You are a weapon. Nothing but the tool in the hands of your betters. If you look down your nose at our plans, I'll cut it off. I will not allow you to mock the work I have done. I am a visionary. I am a medical prophet. What I have done with my vampires is just the beginning. We will surpass her. Alucard's best will be nothing. As lovely as that sounds, none of it is going to happen, Doctor. Your research dies with you tonight. Shut your mouth! <laughs> The ghoulish centerpiece of your sad ambitions. The only person to have ever been fed upon by Alucard, and then feed upon him in turn. Quite the trick. They say she returned to normal after Professor Van Helsing defeated her master, but the beast never quite let go. Alucard's essence hides deep in her bones. And so it waited out the long years in slumber. I mean, to time, to the Eucharist, to holy water, even to the cross itself. A microscopic transgression against God. I suppose you couldn't help yourselves, really. Awakening it like you did.